Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, factor uh, this trinomial. Now, the first thing I always want to do whenever we're factoring is try to see, can we factor out a GCF, right? Is there some common factors that we have within all the terms that we can factor out? And it's pretty obvious we can see that we can factor out an x, right? But we could, the, large, the, most, the x to the highest power is what we want to factor out. You can see here I only have x to the first power, um, right? Because we could write a 1. So that's going to be my largest factor I can factor out. So I have x times x squared minus 9x plus 18. OK, so now we have a monomial times this trinomial. And we always want to look, can we still continue to factor out this trinomial? Now, factoring a trinomial, though, is a little bit different than factoring, um, factoring out a, uh, just a greatest common factor. When we know when factoring out a trinomial, um, and especially when you have just an x squared or you know, 1 is the coefficient of your quadratic term, um, then I know my, I can factor this down to two factors if it is possible. Right, because x times x gives me x squared. And then the last two numbers have to multiply to give me uh, positive 18. So the two numbers could be two positive or two negative, And we'll get to that in a second. So let's write down the factors of 18. So I have 18. I have 18 times 1. It could also be negative 18 times 1, or times negative 1. I have 9 times 2. And I have 6 times 3. As far as I know, those are the two factors. Yes. All right. Um, so again, what we look at, the next thing we want to do is look at our middle term. Because remember, when we multiply to give us 18, we're also going to multiply the inner and the outer to add. And they're going to add to give us negative 9. Well, if these two numbers are going to add to give us negative, that means they have to both be negative. So I look, when adding these factors, we know they, they multiply to give us 18. But when adding them, which one gives us 9? That's these two. So therefore, I have x minus 6 and x minus 3. And if you could not find any factors that would have, then it would not be factorable. And this would be your. Uh, simplified version. But in this case, we can factor that trinomial one step further to a product of its factors. And now that is your factored form. Thanks.